Welcome to the video solution of the exercise Aharonov Bohm effect. In this exercise, we are going to consider Aharonov Bohm oscillations that were observed in a topological insulator and published in 2010 by Peng and co workers in Nature Materials. The device under investigation had a rod-shaped structure and due to its topological insulating property, the bulk was insulating, whereas the surface was conducting. Here you can see one of the results from the paper. On the y-axis, there's the resistance of the structure divided by the resistance at zero magnetic field. And this is shown as a function of the magnetic field, which is plotted on the x-axis. So one can observe that there are oscillations in the resistance of a structure um, as a function of the magnetic field. This data was taken at a temperature of 2 Kelvin. In the first part of the exercise, we are going to sketch the measurement setup that can be used to measure the Aharonov Bohm effect in the structure. The Aharonov Bohm effect is an interference effect that can be observed in nanostructures where the phase coherence length is larger than the system size. If a charged particle, such as an electron, and circles a magnetic flux phi. It acquires a phase which is given as 2 pi phi over phi naught, where phi naught being equal to h over e is the magnetic flux quantum. So by manipulating this phase delta by changing the external magnetic field, so changing the flux, destructive and constructive interference of charged particle paths lead to changes in the electrical conductance through the system. In the system considered for this exercise, the main idea is that these quantum interference effects occur for phase coherent trajectories on the surface as the bulk of the structure is insulating. Therefore, in analogy to this sketch here, the magnetic field should be applied along the wire axis. The resistance of the wire can then be measured in a four-terminal configuration to exclude any contact resistances. So the measurement setup um, looks as follows. The wire, which you can see here, is electrically contacted with four ohmic contacts. So the resistance can now directly be obtained from the voltage drop V and the current I through the system. In the sketch of the wire cross section, which you can see here, one can see that the magnetic field B is applied parallel to the wire axis. Note that in the real system the bulk is not perfectly insulating. So diffusive transports in these bulk states um, will lead to aperiodic universal conductance fluctuations, uh, which we will however discard um, in this exercise. Please also note that for the observation of Aharonov-Bohm oscillations, 
this order along the wire has to be negligible in order to maintain phase coherence throughout the whole structure. In the next part of the exercise, we are asked to derive the diameter of the wire from the experimental results given in the graph. So for the resistance of, a wi of, of the wire to have a minimum, such as this point, this point, this point and so on, um, for this to occur, um, the electron paths on the wire surface have to interfere constructively. This happens whenever an integer multiple of a flux quantum is enclosed by two different paths. Therefore, the, periodi the periodicity of the magnetic field is given by delta B equal to phi naught over A. This equation directly follows um, basically from um, the equation here for the change of the phase um, for a charged particle that encircles a magnetic flux phi. So this can be written as h over e divided by a squared, where this a is the a from here, so the length of one side of the wire. So we can solve mm, this equation easily for a, which gives a square root of h over e times delta b, and this is equal to 83 nanometer. Where we now used that um, the delta B is equal to 620 millitesla that is directly obtained from the from the data from the paper. Now in the last part of the exercise, part three. We are asked about how the phase coherence length of the states on the surface can be estimated. So one possibility would be to increase A such that the phase coherence length L phi is smaller than 4a as an estimate. So in this case, randomization of the phases would occur and therefore one would not observe interferences anymore. So this means for the data that is shown here that um, the oscillations um, would disappear. There is also another approach to extract the phase coherence length, um, which would be to perform temperature dependence measurements of the Aron of Bohm oscillations amplitude. So second possibility T dependence of Aron of Bohm oscillations amplitude so the phase coherence length L phi is equal to the square root of d times tau phi 
where d is the uh, diffusion constant and tau phi which is proportional to h bar over kbt is the phase coherence time. Therefore, L phi and equally the amplitude of the Aharon of Bohm oscillations are directly related to the temperature of the system. So temperature dependence measurements give an estimate for the phase coherence length L phi.